All right, uh, joining us also is uh, Mohit Goyal of uh, Omax. Good to have you, Mohit, on the show. You must be a happy man. Lots of stuff, goodies for you. You've got, uh, uh, of course, the benefits on, on the housing. You've got a trust which has been made in, in real estate. Also, for your inputs, there has been some uh, concessions and custom duties uh, uh, for <coughs> steel. So, by and large, positive for you? So I think the whole budget is, has been positive for uh, the whole economy. I would not just talk about our particular sector because our sector depends on the whole economy because they've touched upon every sector. If you talk about uh, power, manufacturing, they've given incentives for these sectors as well. Particularly talking about our sector, yes, they have given uh, two, uh, two really important sorts which we were asking last many years. It is Section 80C and Section 24B, sure. which is really important and it's going to encourage a lot of uh, end users to come in the market. And the tax bracket wherein a, a unit, a, a house costing around 30 lakhs will be much more affordable to the, to the customers. And the smart cities which they are talking about is, uh, is a very good concept and they have allocated around 7,000 crores to build in the, these uh, 100 smart cities. Mm. And which is, I think, is a very, very good step. Now, Chetan, I think that's an interesting thought because you spent a lot of the morning discussing uh, the fact that real estate inflation is also a serious problem Absolutely. and yet you're making an effort uh, perhaps to, to, to feed a bit of a demand over there. So that's an interesting thought. I'm, I'm also telling our viewers yeah, a quick reminder. Yes, we have flashing the call-in number uh, right on the left side of your screens. Call us now. Have your say. It's a very easy number, six-digit number calling us in, in, in our studios in Noida. We'll right. put your questions to our guests. I'm also being told uh, Muktar Abbas, that way of the BJP is making a quick reaction. Let's quickly listen in before we come back, right? Of course, that tells us what happened before was not right. It also tells us that it's only that much of time that what Mr. Jaitley had was to do. But there is also a sense that he could have done several things, as what uh, uh, Jangri was mentioning about things on, like on the GST and the retrospective tax, which are very close to him, by the way, because he's led discussions on this in, very, uh, uh, on a, in a very positive manner. That never happened. Would you say there was some kind of politics that was restraining him? Uh, I would put it that maybe there may be some political compulsions. Uh, otherwise, if you look from the long-term point of view, uh, I would like to congratulate the finance minister because there are many innovative measures which are development-oriented, that is a rear-linking project or the infrastructure projects. or even from the point of the welfare, like uh, uh, modernization of uh, madrasas, ultimately it is the, I look from the development point of view, ultimately it will provide you, I mean the human capital in the long term. From the long term point of view, the many, even the uh, storage facilities for the vegetable under the PPP model, infrastructure under the PPP model, there are many uh, innovative measures are there. Okay, let's but, but then, when you are looking from what you call the one the basic problem the country has been facing. There is no doubt that this one month is not sufficient to uh, grasp the problem and come out with the corrective measures. But when the Prime Minister came out with the statement of that country should be prepared for uh, bitter pills, I felt very happy that uh, here is a leader who is prepared to take the country into confidence. No, but confidence. But now, when I look at the budget, I think there is somewhere a gap between the heart of the Prime Minister and the mind of the Finance Minister. Could you, what is, what according to you, sir, no, no, as an economist, what is your yeah, biggest disappointment? No, about? as an economist, because the major two problems, I mean, there are many problems like weakening of the rupee and the problem in attracting investment, both domestic as well as the foreign, there are many problems. But these two problems were revolving around only the two one of course the inflation and the number two the deficit in the governance now during the election campaign narendra modi rightly put it or he branded that there is a called what he called termed as a jayanti tax it is a, just an example of how the i mean the projects getting delayed in fact when she left more than 180 projects in fact which are cleared by her still it was a lie now I don't say that the present minister would impose, I mean, sort of uh, giant tax, I mean, in his name. But even if he's, I mean, he's a good friend of me, even if I were to be there, there should have been some systemic correction so that even if I were to be there, I should not get tempted. So that requires some changes in the system. And again, with the black money, black money, he definitely showed the concern. But, but no more, more than the unearthing the black money, he should have initiated 
the measures to minimize the the black the money generation which, which is totally within the purview of the budget and the finance minister by changing the certain economic laws and the tax laws. I will not go into the uh, details. And about the what Prime Minister said about the what he called the bitter pill. Now here I think there is an attempt to postpone that by announcing so called the expenditure management commission. In fact, during the previous uh, India government also there was a uh, uh, commission and that gave the concrete measures how to uh, minimize the expenditure. Now that could have been, I mean, the implemented. But what is required is immediately then what measures I had already given an impetus to the manufacturing sector by extending.